everyone praise god praise god how you doing this is apostle deanna dixon well i was getting off of here and believe it or not i saw something and god gave me a word soon as i saw it so i have to give this message i'm i'm gonna i don't think he wants me to say that name but oh my god when i saw this immediately my spirit shook because i was not getting back up on here but he said no you need to tell them so this is a warning and i need y'all I, I, some of you really follow and you write down things i need you to write this down tonight i need you to write this down tonight i'm gonna say it a third time i need you to write this down tonight you know um there's a professor friend of mine he used to always say that his daddy used to say things uh repetitious so he could get it in his spirit I know that's why God made me tell y'all things three times sometime. This is a deep one. Thus saith the Lord. I mean, just when I got off of here, he made me get back on here and say this. And I need y'all to hear me. He don't want me to say names. And yes, I have a name. So I was I was uploading my stuff on YouTube. And this this man that came, he is a man. I'll tell y'all that. It's a man that name that came up and what he had just preached on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook. God said he's about to make an example out of somebody y'all love. Something finna happen to that young man. I'm going to say it again. Something finna happen to that young man. God said his name point blank. Y'all, oh my God, my God. Why something got to happen before y'all stop playing with God? You're preaching unbiblical truths. You're, you got people on Facebook hooked and crooked. God said he's about to make an example. When it happened, y'all go, I, I, I'll, I'll share the name then. Some of you going to already pick it up in your spirit, so don't ask me. Don't do that, because I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to release his name, because number one, he ain't going to believe me. Number two, y'all ain't going to believe me. Number three, y'all going to remember this, though. God said his name, and it, it hit me in my stomach, because I've warned this young man before. Stop lying on Facebook. I know what you're doing, and y'all follow him, and I'm going here. Y'all follow most people. Oh, God, God. Sometimes... And y'all y'all gotta understand when God tell me something like this, my stomach is literally turning. Maybe y'all don't understand. If you're a prophet, you understand. If you're not, whatever. Cause I don't like to see nothing happen to nobody. Good, bad, or indifferent. Not if you're a true person of God. But they don't adhere to warnings. Most of y'all follow people on Facebook and stuff because they look good. I'm going there. Not because they're anointed, because they look good and they know how to speak. The devil knows how to transform himself. And what y'all don't understand is when, when the devil see a spirit like that, he attach himself to it. And so now it goes forth as if it's God. And now God has to backlash that person. How oh, y'all ain't ready for me. There's two men up on here lying. I saw the title of his video and that was unbiblical. That was very unbiblical. That would take a lot of people to hell. You can't preach unbiblical truths. That's one thing Apostle Dean Dixon do. I'm not perfect, but I promise you I'm coming with biblical foundation. I'm not going to tell y'all something I think or I heard or I read out no book. I'm not, not, I'm not, make, I'm not taking that chance because then God got to backlash me because some of you are gullible to believe just anything. And to be honest with you, I tell y'all, you don't have to believe me. Go back and ask God, go look up the scriptures. I hate when people, you know, let me tell y'all something. When it happened to Bishop Eddie Long, I called it years before it happened. When it happened to other people, and hold on, ain't nobody glorifying that because you glorify that, you of you of the devil. We're not supposed to glorify when our brother or sister fall. But you see, when this young man, God allowed it to happen, y'all y'all gonna pull back from Facebook and y'all gonna start examining who y'all follow, because some of that is y'all fault, because y'all attach yourself to that spirit. Now God has to backlash everybody and those that follow as well. Because now you're spraying unbiblical truths. Y'all, this is a warning. I'm going to say the warning again. I'm getting up off of here. Thus said the Lord, I'm about to make an example over who they follow on Facebook. And when God say that, that's not good. It could be me. It don't matter who it is. You don't want God to make you no example. Because that means it's going to be hard. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. But I saw this coming two years ago, and I already called his name. I already told him to stop. They don't be listening to me. They get mad. They get offended at me. Who is she? <laughs> Nobody but a person that hear God and have never lied on God. Perfect? No, not perfect. I'm not, not going to lie like that. But when I hear God, I'm 50 years old. He ain't never lied. 
He ain't never lied. I might have went before him one time. Yes, I did. But when I say, thus said the Lord, you can write it down. As a matter of fact, I want y'all to write it down. And, and some of y'all, like I say, because some of y'all have a spirit of discernment. Some of you already picked up the name. Please don't do that. Don't put that name out there. Just pray for him. Because most of y'all know who I'm talking about. Because <laughs> y'all did that to that young man. Y'all started following him. And y'all made him a figure. I told y'all that young man is not called. It's just that y'all women sent him so much money. Until that made him start doing even more so. And he focuses on celebrities. When God, and I try to, I try to teach y'all. When God call you for real, God ain't going to just tell you to talk about no celebrities. God ain't going to do that. That's not God. Because God is, he's worried about the alcoholic. He's worried about the drug addict. He's worried about the prostitute. He's worried about... God, we're about the little and the big. God, God is not a, a person to a, a, a entity that that's just worried about the famous people. That's not God. That's not God. All right, let me get off out here. God bless y'all. I'm telling you what God just said, and it scares me when God say that, cause it always happens. Mark my word, it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen. Just pray. God is tired of people lying. I don't care if it was me. God is tired of people lying to his people. That's a dangerous thing to do. That's a very dangerous thing to do. To, to preach unbiblical truths. Because now you're lying on God. And I'm going to tell y'all something else too. A lot of them, they go to real people, real prophets pages. And they look and they come out as if they say that. That's lying on God. Now the word is for everybody. Don't get it twisted. When God gives a word, it's from everybody. So I don't really think that technically nobody can steal somebody else's word. But if you lie and say it come from God out of your mouth, now nah, that's a lie. That makes God upset. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You lying on me now? Okay, let me stop. I got to stop. My God, my God. All right. I see what God said to say. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're a lot of soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.